Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning it in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series where I am dealing with, well, two things, bloodlusted, bloodthirsty vassals that really don't want to make peace no matter what I do, and also the fact that my husband and my brother just ran off into some other person's army like floozies, but I have engineered a solution to fix that, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Abiletos, and I am going to take Damien and Trustin's um, troops away. Because even though they're in another army, I can still inspect their troops and, you know, strip them of their troops. And then I'm going to bring them back into my party. And, oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. I can bring them back into my party as long as I give them 40% of their troops back. So, here we go. This is Damien. I take everybody. And done. And then Trustin. I take everybody. And then I go to my party or my uh my clan screen. Over here. I'm going to disband Trustin and disband Damien. And that kicks them out. And then I'm going to tell Trustin to join me. And let me see if I can. Up oh, there's Damien. Join me. Oh, see? See, so, so smart. And then if I go to the party screen here, I can set Damien up with a party. And, and the important thing is 40% of 175. That's all that I need to give him to be able to have... Uh, to have Damien be able to be drafted back into my army. But first, I'm going to take a moment to uh, upgrade all the troops that are um, queued and pending, so. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill to about half. So that Trustin can also have... It's a half of... Alright. Yep. Time to do some quick math. The trouble is, you, I also have to count for wounded too. Okay, so that is well over half, actually. Let me pull some back. Okay, there we go. Done. My troops are still over limit, but that's fine. Uh, so Damien is filled beyond half, and then Trustin gets the same treatment. Again, filled beyond half, beyond the 40% minimum. Uh, Trustin, oh, okay, here we go, done. And... Now, if I go to my recruit screen, Damien... And Trustin, I can both say, rally to me. And boom. We've got Damien and Trustin back into the fold. So, my very strange roundabout way of doing that uh, works works great. Oh, look. There's a little bit of a uh, rallied forces on the horizon here. It looks like they're all heading to Lavinia Castle. So, what I'm going to do is go to Onira and make room for them to become my prisoners. Yeah, I'm pretty metal. Uh... Ba, 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 da, da, da. Okay, there we go. All the Imperials done. Make sure to sell off all of the loot of war that I have, which is not too too much. I don't have too much here to sell because we just took a castle. Yeah, 5,000 is, is not much for a queen of almost a million. Ooh, some lady shoes. All right, none of the armors here look good to me. Done. Uh, my food, I have 40 days of food, so that's fine. Uh, as you can see, Achios, they're all sort of heading to Lavinia Castle to besiege it. Um, now, the Lavinia Castle has a siege marker over it, but that's not because it's currently under siege. I just sieged it at the end of last episode, so it's just leftover information. Uh, my bloodlusted... Vassals still do not want peace with anybody, so I guess that's the case. Oh, if you attack that caravan, 
I mess you up so fast. Oh boy, you guys are stupid. Very stupid. The caravan almost died off, but I got there in time, and now I get to kill three vassals. Possibly actually kill them, to be honest. Because now... Now with um, there being, you know, fatalities, uh, I've already killed one vassal, like actually killed, killed a vassal in combat. Uh, so there is the possibility of me actually eliminating their vassals here. Did they nerf? No, they didn't nerf it. I was just hitting armored. All right. And this is your typical battle. Hey, you. Oh, he was, uh, that's a, get out of my way. I'm trying to tell my um, companions to get so somewhere safer. Okay, I obviously didn't position my archers very well. Um, so I'm going to redo that. Again, it's really bad positioning, but I'm in the middle of a battle. It's hard to be an armchair general sometimes. Way over your head. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have the riders hang tight. And... Who's following me? Probably the mounted bowmen. Okay, looks to me like they have some cavalry, while well, some of their cavalry lost their horses. But some cavalry in our backfield. Now, you get out of here. Wow, I am, uh, my aim is off. But that was fun to, fun to watch. So I don't, I don't regret having bad aim. All right, here is, I, I've been hoping to find their vassals, but I haven't found them yet. I've just found a bunch of, like, standard archers and horsemen. Um, which is a bummer. Alright, I'm doing a full court charge. They just don't have enough people for me to fear them, I think. I am a little worried about my companions in a full court charge, but... Um, my guess is they'll be fine. Ow. My horse just got... Couched in the head. Man, where are your vassals? Were they all unconscious or something? I mean, that's a possibility that this army... I don't know. Okay. Regardless, uh, we're just cleaning them up now. I don't understand how doing, like, times two the total amount of health that the person has isn't fatal. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, troops I, I hit get wounded, not killed. I mean, I guess it's fine. Okay, that one died. I guess it's fine because they do turn into prisoners or whatever. And then I can ransom them off or uh, recruit them depending on their level. Not that I tend to recruit Kuzates, Kuzates, but, um... Some of the hits, not all the hits, but some of the hits I land are like triple the health hit points of, you know, when I'm doing like 300 damage in a swing, it's like, God knows, you don't have 300 health. I feel like I overkilled you multiple times over, so the fact that they're just wounded makes me think that the chance for death is just totally random and not based upon damage received. It's just an arbitrary roll of die. Are these guys fleeing? It must be. Oh, my aim. 
Everything is off today. I can't swing. I can't shoot. I gotta get my groove back. Ah, and then they just disappear. Hey, you. I'm gonna redeem. Oh, you're a cons guard? And no, I'm not gonna redeem myself here either. At least I'm I'm putting arrows in their butt right as they as they go out into the nether here. All right, I think that's the battle. And uh, the owner of the caravan is happy that I came to help out. That was the little relationship boost there. No one died, which is great. Trustin did get knocked out, and I'm sure some of my others got knocked out. You are my prisoner. You are my prisoner. Two prisoners, that works. And then 62 recruits. I don't want any of the looters, so I'll leave them. Uh, the gear that I got is terrible. Nothing is all that valuable. But that also should hinder... Um, that should hinder... The siege party that was traveling to me. Traveling to... Uh, oh, you're engaging the caravan too? Nuh-uh. You get out of here, Achios. Yeah, that's what I thought. Lavinia Castle can go to... God, the vassals that are uh, being offered this have so many territories. Uh, Tynops, I guess, because the majority wants it. Even though Luchin's my brother-in-law. Yeah, I really, really, really need to end these wars, but I think that's the problem, is the vassals know that I keep capture. I mean, I don't think the game is this smart, but if I was to roleplay, I would say the vassals know that I keep grabbing territories, and as a result of continually being successful, they know that they can raise their, um, you know, raise their holdings or whatever just by making this war go longer, which is just so stressful on me because I'm now, I can't really count one of the empires, but, you know, I'm fighting two major empires. You know, if you look at what is red here, you've got a sliver of Azerai and a sliver of um, Valandia. And the two remaining forces that exist in the world, uh, which is Batania and Kuzate, they're the only ones that have significant holdings. Well, that's who I'm at war with? And it's like, guys, you, I can't hold on to all the, you know, it's, just leave me alone. Let me, let me settle for peace. We are already ahead. Okay, I don't see anyone at, oh, here we are. Oh, God, 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 I'm not going to get there in time. So this is exactly what would have happened to uh, Damien and Trustin. Um, oh, God, hold out. Hold out. It is darkest before the dawn. Oh, we got there in time. It's time to crash some, or smash some skulls and crash some raids. All right, so this is a rather large fight. It's going to be important for me to do as much armchair generaling as possible because if I die early on and my troops sort of get disbanded or um, don't have um, orders or whatever, the net result of that is a lot of people die. Oh, God. Cavalry, go away. Oh, Jesus, they're here. Wow, that is a false charge. I know I said armchair general, but... All right, so let me try to line up my arrows on some sort of embankment or hill. Wow, they're just pushing straight up. All right, I'm going to set my my um, companions sort of aside in order to maybe keep them alive longer while I have all the other cavalry follow me. Because uh, I intend to smash skulls, as I said I would. Plus, they just have so many cavalry. Such tasty little morsels of dead. 
I don't know what my infantry is doing because they are not... Get out of here. They're not where they're supposed to be. Oh, look at that Lancer lining up for a charge. Tear the limbs. Yes. All right, let's go after their horse archers. So they're pretty easy to kill. As they don't look where they're going. All right, horsemen, get out of my face. Leave me alone. All right, we are filling the air with arrows. Maybe that's why they call them arrows. They really aren't called that for that reason. I can't imagine, but hey, I can pretend. All right, I'm telling my horsemen to line up here. We have a huge head start because we've slaughtered an enormous amount of them. But what's important is not to overextend and get reckless. Look at all the Lancers here. Get out of here. I like how in a battle of life and death, enemies are just sort of an annoyance, inconvenience factor. Hey, dudes. Yeah. She ain't kidding. Alright, let's have my riders follow me again, even though they sometimes crowd me and piss me off. It's better than fighting 35 horse archers all by my lonesome. Wow. I didn't realize there was a like three of them right behind me. Luckily, if you have, like I do, one of the fastest horses in the game, um, if you're being stalked by a bunch of people that want you dead, you can kind of outride them and not even know, you know? Ouch, that lance was real bad. That was my leg from a couched blade or something similar. I'll take it a little easier. This is clearly someone who has broken morale and is leaving, and leaving in a casket. Or actually in shackles, because that was a uh, wound, not kill. That's a casket right there. You want to use arrows, huh? Ouch, ouch, yes you do. God, they have so many horses. <laughs> 362 damage to a horse. That just seems gratuitous. Now, lest I not forget that the lives of my men bank on me not getting myself annihilated. Nope. Denied. 411. That is the most damage I've done in a few battles. Now, I do have my cavalry out there, so I'm going to bring them back. Because their cavalry, unless they do a full, legit charge on me, uh, it's best to just stay in, in line. Yeah, but here's their little charges. They keep doing, you know, this sort of circling fire-type tactics, which is very effective if um, not countered. All right. 
Ouch. You. Did you just shoot me? Yeah, what happened to your horse? Oh, what happened to you? So I did just tell everyone to charge. Uh, most of their forces were just circling around me with their horses and bows. And um, I didn't want to sit like a duck. So I am going to take position a little bit further up the field and make give them less area, less um, you know, offer up less territory for my enemies to ride around, so they can't do their like jousting, shooting. The enemy are fleeing. I have won. Oh wow, there is still a sig ooh. Don't hit a friendly. There is still a significant amount of enemies left on the field. So for them to flee like this is uh, sort of unprecedented. We're going to have a lot of prisoners is, I think, what it comes down to. These are the ones that were brave, I guess. Brave or foolish. Well, I survived this battle. With great effort. Most of the damage I got was just from one target, though. Oh, you thought you were going to get up. Alright, I think that's it. Oh, no, there's one horse over here. Can't see. I would not like to be that guy. This horse is dead. Hello. Goodbye. Is that it? Must be. Oh, all right. What happened? Uh, Kareth, Untheri, and Ologen. So Kareth is one of my own. Uh, Untheri, if memory serves, is one of my own as well. Yep. So, despite the fact that I only have... See, this is this is what is ridiculous. I just want to make it clear. I had... Um, how many troops did I field? You know, I had uh, so many troops fielded, right? Uh, only 26 of anyone in my army died. And two of them happened to be nobles. That is a ridiculously high percentage of nobles to average death. You know what I'm saying? That's what really worries me. Uh, so I guess Alogen died as well. Um, that's one of theirs. So if we take a look at the battle here. Um, yeah, you're very happy. You are my prisoner. You are my prisoner. You are my prisoner. You are my... Oh my god. You are my prisoner. Um, Alright, let me take all those troops. I'll be over capacity, but that's fine. I'll give them out. So yeah, that seems to me like a absolutely nutty percentage uh, that happens in this current patch. And that that really deeply worries me because it means that my companions are unbelievably vulnerable. Uh, like they've never, ever, ever been before, you know? Because if, um, if a 13th of the people that die are my noble vassals, that... <sighs> That's that. I mean, that's absurdly high. That is absurdly high. Um, well, clearly, I am not going to have room for their 371, uh, 371 uh, prisoners here. No one would ever have that kind of space. So I'm just preferential, preferentially, if I could speak English, uh, picking up the highest levels. The oh no, I don't want to dish my Valandians though. Nah. -uh. Now, also, if you're wondering why I haven't gone and just, like, up and executed uh, all the people that have, I've taken prisoner, um, the act of execution is very, very, very dishonorable, and everybody will basically hate me for it. So as tempting as it is just to be like, all right, so now that I have all these prisoners here, execute, execute, execute. Yeah, like, that would come back to haunt me in a really negative way. 
uh, which is why I haven't ever done it. And despite the fact that I took on a rather large army, uh, there was basically only junk to scrap from the battle. So now you'll see uh, Abiletos... Yeah, there's a few armies here that are just disbanded and don't know what to do. And that's a result of death, unfortunately. So taking a look at the world map now, um, my best bet is to go to Serenea. And then uh, Epicatria and Mechalovea are also under siege. I saw that Mechalovea maybe defended themselves. Um, let's see if my vassals feel any different. Oh my god, they don't. What is wrong with you stupid vassals? So literally two of them died in that battle right there. Two of them died. Uh, and they still want to go? It makes zero sense to me. Manchug of the Kuzates have decided to make peace with the Southern Empire. Um, Sachanis just got captured by Kaladog. So let me uh, let me go to this town and figure out where Sachanis was. So he was at Rasos. Uh, so Rasos up here, where Golden is, this is a big battle zone. Because Kaladog, the leader of the Patanians, is there taking prisoners. I gained a level? Okay, I will uh, accept. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, so a free focus point. Oh man, I don't know what to learn. I'm pretty much maxed out my focus points everywhere that matters, except for charm, I guess. I suppose I could also put it in engineering or medicine. Uh, I'm gonna do medicine just because I hope that it helps with the death of, you know, I don't know what talents off the top of my head are enabled and what aren't, but I'm hoping that um, investing in medicine will will lead to a situation where I can keep my important people alive. All right, so Onira doesn't have a lot of money. Um, so we're going to definitely be in a situation where they can't buy everything I want to sell. Maybe I can buy some horses from them. Or something else expensive? Is there anything? I don't really want these weapons. I don't need a heavy recurve bow. I could buy trade goods, I guess. No. All right, let's reset. I don't want to buy a bunch of garbage. Um, so that's fine. So you can buy all of my shields and bows and swords, and then that's about all you can afford. Okay. I won't sell any further, because Onira don't have the money. But, as far as prisoners to be ransomed, I think you all know that I have a ridiculous amount. So let's deselect the Kuzadi prisoners. Um, and I'll probably actually put them in the dungeon here because it reduces their chance to escape. And then, where's my Valandians? Here they are. Oh, I'm over my troop limit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, go to the keep, go to the dungeon, donate prisoners. Cool. And then... I want to talk to Trusted and Damien. Let me do Trusted first. I'm just sort of dropping troops in his army. And then let's talk to Damien. You know what? I don't want to travel up there. Let me just leave and go do this the other way. Um... Saves me from walking. I am just that lazy. Or efficient. I don't know. You can look at it both ways. So, yeah. Now I'm not over capacity. And they won't disband as a result. I still want those horses. Azurai horses are the best horses. Yeah. Or uh, one of the best horses. Let me see if there's a... 
if there's anyone I could give out Azurai horses to. So I have five of them. Richards the Stag has one, Talon has one, Bash has one, Redog has one, Val has one. Uh, Raptor Talon has a Pureblood, but he, as you can see, their Azurai horse is about the same strength as a Pureblood uh, for speed and maneuverability. The Azurai horse barely wins out, uh, but the Pureblood has a lot more hit points, so they're tougher. Um, and they charge harder, I guess, but like, that doesn't really matter. Uh, Silas has one. Cheese will have... So Cheese could switch out to um, to an Azurai horse, but I think the Pure Blood might be better. So I won't do that. And M will get a... Uh, oh, what am I doing? M will get a uh, an Azurai. Cool. And then, of course, I have an Azurai. Done. All right. At this point, uh, I'm going to go to Serenea and recapture that because that's a town I lost... More recently, uh, I think the raids that were coming to Lavinia Castle are now crushed. And speaking of crushing, casualties inflicted. Okay, so um, Kuzate's definitely done well. But uh, if I make peace with Kuzate right now, I receive a bunch of um, a bunch of tribute, which indicates to me that uh, we're doing well. But Tania wants me to pay tribute, and that's probably because they retook. Uh, Epochtrea, and they have some of my prisoners, but that that won't be allowed to stand for very much longer. Ah, Baranor. You know, you're kind of a tiny little army in a really dangerous area. Why would uh, Mina be chasing me? You do realize I am bajillion times your size, right? Just pointing that out. All right, so Serenea was a city that I previously held uh, and was captured from me because I find it really difficult to to push my war efforts and defend. One of the things I would like to have happen in this game, like in terms of uh, expansions and content and whatever, is to be able to issue orders to armies. I'd love to be able to go into my kingdom screen and be like, all right, Abelos, Ab Abeletos' army, uh, how about you travel to somewhere else, you know? But, like, I can't actually tell the armies what to do, and they're stupid. So we have Galden's army that is traveling to Uthlame Castle to defend it. But, like, is that even a smart thing for them to do? I honestly don't know. You know, so one of the things that I would definitely do, um, you know, is give me the ability to, uh, to, to properly police or or you know be the captain of my I don't know you know you but you know what I mean it definitely would be a huge benefit to be able to control where the armies go because they don't make wise decisions most of the time they just like run about and get themselves killed uh before I head into this fight lest I not forget about gear swapping I do find that the the blade is better if I have to turtle up. These guys are fielding catapults, so I definitely need to rip up their catapults before I siege. I don't want to be bombarded. Uh, Northern Empire and Sturgia just made peace. Okay, uh, let me do a quick check of diplomacy. So Batania is only really at war with me and the Wolfskins, but the Wolfskins don't count. Uh, Kuzate is only at war with me and uh, another mercenary faction, so that doesn't really count. Southern Empire is at war with literally everybody, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, so Kuzate and Batania are solely focused on me, which is probably a problem for me. You know, if I can't get my vassals to agree on peace, um, it's going to be really challenging for me to fight both fronts. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't just forced peace... Uh, it's because I don't have enough influence. I literally do not have enough influence to to tell my vassals, hey, we're making peace with, you know, X, Y, or Z. Tassinor just got taken prisoner. Uh, where were you? Mechalovia Castle? Yeah. As I sort of suspected, the, the Batanians are really pushing Mechalovia Castle. And unless I can get up north and fight the Batanians, uh, that's going to be trouble. 
so yeah, yeah to put it in perspective i have about 2000 influence which is a ton for me to force peace with Batania or Kuzate would be maybe like roughly 3,000 influence, which is so beyond what I have the ability to to wield right now. All right, Serratus just got taken prisoner. I have no idea where that is. Another thing that I might be able to do to buffer the losses, the death that I've had, is to um, employ a bunch of mercenaries that I don't really care if they die or not. Come on, get the one la- uh, Oh yeah, here we go. They don't have any catapults. Let's lead an assault. Yeah, here we go. Now, there's not too many defenders. So, proportionally, there won't be a lot of... Um, there won't be a lot of uh, enemies defending. Because we outnumber them, um, like, 9 to 1. And it's a bright sunny day where I should be able to find targets to shoot in the face. So one of the siege towers is coming here where there's a makeshift uh, mud moat thing. I'm sure there's a military term for that. I don't know it. Oh, actually, we have two of these little makeshift. God, they look rickety. All right, let me hide under here. Dismount for the better shots. Who wants some? I can vaguely see someone there. Ow, come on, guys. Play, oh, there's too many. Oh, I'm stuck. That's, this is wading in deep water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody shoot the queen. Ha, 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 ha. I'm gonna burn your house down. Oh, got you. You know, standing out in the open like that, such a bad idea. I suppose, I suppose they're all going to die because, oh, is this, that's a dead body. Oh, wow. Enemy at the gates much? I suppose they're all going to die. So it's just like, pick your poison. Who's throwing axes? <laughs> One of my infantry is just like hucking axes at the wall. That is hilarious because I'm sorry. Unless you're built like a tank, you're just not going to get an axe that far. And I'm sure there's going to be a YouTube comment of like, well, actually, but you know, in this game, throwing weapons don't have the same trajectory patterns as crossbows and arrows and or crossbow bolts I should say in arrows so they're just not that effective for distance same with javelins all right I'm done with you uh in this game yeah javelins just don't go very far they hurt like crazy they're very very strong but they have extraordinarily lim limited range Were you the jerk sh Well, you weren't shooting at me because you don't really have weapons to do that. Oh, wow. We stormed the gate. Yeah, that gate's gone. All right. I can't get by this banner knight that's kind of protecting me. So I'll aid him with my... Oh, well, that worked. Banner Knight's like, I guess it, I guess the queen doesn't need protection. Um, I do. Yeah, damn right. I might have uh, only a quarter of my health left, but I'm still five times stronger than these little twerps. 
Although I am picking my fights carefully. You there. Filthy Imperial. Yeah, this castle is a foregone conclusion. Or this town, whatever it is. Alright. Uh, I had nine deaths. Luckily, none of them were... Friends or family. Fingers crossed. 22 prisoners. That's a tiny... We only took a tenth of their... As prisoner. Funny enough, um... The best weapon that I've found to date... Not the best, but the best weapon this episode... Came off of, uh... This fight. This uh, crack step recurpo. Worth a thousand. Everything else that I've been getting here is worth less than that, so... And we, we took that off of some random archer that was defending this castle. It wasn't from a noble or anything, because there were no nobles in here. Done. Tavern District. Now, there is an argument to be made of I should keep some of these prisoners to replenish my forces, but... It's just so inefficient to recruit one or two prisoners a day or whatever. It's so much faster just to be like, well, I'll do a recruiting run. So now that we have, um, hmm, now that we have Serenea back, I don't know if Serenea is going to be able to defend itself. Yes, I know I could like leave my, um, leave some of my vassals around or, or, or add to the garrison. Are you sieging it? No, you're following many years. Uh, I think I'll do that. Giffer and Ingolther, who have rather large armies, I'm going to ditch them in this area and see if they might be able to fight whomever is around. Because they, they have, you know, the big armies that they're sporting might be of benefit. I guess I'll see. Again, Serenade Castle Fallen. Kuzate, still no interest in a peace treaty. Uh, but I, as much as I want... As much as I want to keep pummeling Kuzate into the ground... Um, Batania is making inroads over here. And they are burning villages. And they recaptured Epicotria. So... I think... No, I mean, Emfrel is way too close for me to ignore... Maybe I'll just focus on one until they submit, until they uh, until they feel like they can't go on anymore. Uh, but before I do any of that, let me see if there's any... Um... No, there doesn't... Oh, no, here we are. Cheese Radar Deluxe. Oh, yeah, I remember. You did level up. You did level up. Uh, let's give you some Vigor points. Now, your horse riding looks good, but... I guess you're one-handed fell behind, so we'll put the focus point in that. And Bash has a point as well. Uh, your bow skills are falling behind, so we'll put a point in that. Cool. Done. Some lovely levels. We're almost done recruiting all these prisoners, too. Andros taken prisoner. Settlement of Tevea attacked by fear rads. Wait, what? Oh, uh, T-E-V-E-A. Where is this? Uh, to, okay, over here. Oh, because this is something I personally own, maybe? No, I don't own this. Oh yeah, maybe I wait, what? Why do I own Poros? Clan Radamant? Wait, I don't own Poros? What is going on here? I 
I've owned Poros this whole time and not realized it? Hang on a minute. Am I crazy? I guess I do own Poros. <laughs> oh, man. I own so many towns, I don't even know which ones I own. I really do need to gift these out to people at some point. So, uh, let's see. Hold on one second. No. Don't besiege that yet. Uh, Poros, I own... What else do I own? I, I need to I need to actually hotkey these because it's bothering me. So my clan, Legata, Rote, Artesia, Hertigia Castle. So Onika Castle uh, is something I I own. Um, that I didn't know about, but I think that might be because we recently captured it. Nope. No, not recent. I own it straight out. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I'm definitely... After this stupid lengthy war wraps up, I am going to recruit so many vassals as fast as I can and just be like, here, here's some of my own territory for freebies. Because that would be a really good way to sort of gain a high level of friendship immediately. But I am out of time, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um... I'm very happy that I found a solution to bring uh, Trustin and Damien back into the fold. Uh, I had to game game mechanics. I did like, you know, exploit game mechanics a little bit to do it. But I think it's far better than... I mean, you you saw that giant battle on the bridge uh, where two vassals died. I think that might have been Damien and Trustin had I not gone to the lengths I did. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell, everybody.